evening everyone hello Monday Monday night I'm driving back from Fort Wayne Fort Con played some volleyball and headed back headed back home for a little bit I take a shower at my dad's house because there's been a gas leak in my house and still haven't been able to take a shower in about a week so it was an interesting match tonight we went three games with the first team we lost the first game I think it was eight played 18 and um, 18 to 14 we lost the first game we only had three uh, another, another one of our guys showed up we won the second game I think about the same score 18 14 the third game we played to 11 and we were serving game point I believe it was 10 to 8 and lost that point and then lost the next three they were up 12-11 serving game point and we ended up losing 14-12 and that dropped us to the lower bracket um, and we won the first game and that's one game to 18 we won 18 to 14 I believe and then the they were in losers bracket, so we only play one game. So we get to the second to last game. So if we would have, it's close. I think there's maybe five teams left at that point out of eight. Yeah, there was three teams ahead of us. So we played the first team that we played the first match with. Um, that was the same type of game. Like we were, we went, you know, wall to wall with them again. They hit five balls roll shots that hit the line <laughs> it just never happens like that you just never you see one or two maybe but um, I don't know if it was win or luck but they went in for them it's just kind of how the ball drops so <laughs> I rolled I rolled shot over the setter and he reached back and he hit it with he hit it like this he punched it back Seriously, he was flailing forward, dive forward, hit the ball straight up in the air, and it landed right on the line. Be a vlog I'm trying to do. When I'm driving, I have a lot of thoughts in my mind. Just to get 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 some things out I've been thinking about today, and you know, I would say it was not an easy day today because of some news I got, some multiple bad news, but. The nice thing is how, is how you react to bad news. I'm not going to get into specifics because it's personal, but how do you react to news that doesn't go your way? Well, the old me would internalize and then worry about it and, and stress about it and then think, oh, I suck, I'm bad, etc. So that's how most people deal with anxiety that um, when you deal with adversity, you internalize think about what I did wrong what did I do wrong and what can I learn from it but that's the second part I never did before I never did what I learned from it I just think oh my god I suck why did I do this And it's a constant droning in my head of failure that's what your mind tells you and now I really enjoy this drive such an easy drive. I love playing in the sand. You know, <clears throat> life is special and precious. I realized that ever since my son passed away. And I think some anxiety I've had this year is because I when you lose a child, it's hard. Obviously it's hard. But what what do you do with that pain? And it's it's not so easy to say. Well, somebody at work yelled at me, and I'm upset about it. Those things you get over quickly. It's when you deal with death. It's a little different. It sometimes hangs on. Especially we are equipped to deal with it, and so are men. Um, a lot of times we. I can say what I can do. I don't know what all men, but a lot of men that I know internalize it 
and bury it, trap it. I don't want to feel that anymore. I don't want to feel, period. And I think that's a mistake. And I was talking to a lady I work with. Is, uh, they've lost a son, too. And their son would have graduated this year. And she, she was able to go to the graduation, her and her husband. And she was telling me about it. That, that he cried on, on the way to having dinner with another student that graduated. So you think how good that is? Just because your body is telling you, you need to get that out. So yeah, I'm basically saying we need to cry. The emotion we have at the moment is the right emotion. I'm not saying you should go out and when you're angry, like you go ahead and, you know, start driving people over or anything. That's not what I'm saying at all. But if you're feeling anger at the moment, you need, need to own it. If you're feeling emotional at the moment, own it. What do I mean by own it? Well, it depends on the situation, obviously, but I'm kind of rambling. I'm so incredibly proud of where I am today, and sometimes we we focus on ourselves too much and. I think that's been a problem for me because when I when I had anxiety and depressed, I would feel bad about myself more than anything else. Then. Um, especially if you get divorced, and a lot of men uh, end up giving up or get upset and not sure how to deal with what what happened with your family. And, you know, a lot of times they take take the majority of the blame from, which is a mistake because I know a lot of men. Maybe they weren't the best husbands and pretty good fathers, but just because a relationship breaks up doesn't mean that the father should be punished consistently over and over through child support. Two cases that I know of that where uh, one was a a false a false rape uh, accusation, you know, just a complete shit show that was. I feel incredibly sad for for a lot of men that have been falsely accused of stuff like that in divorce. It's uh, it's not pretty. It's a beautiful night tonight. The bad thing about Zan is that it freaking gets everywhere. Even in your eyeballs. So it's... You know, I love talking. I think... I think what's more interesting to me is... Uh, I would love to do a call-in. or I'm thinking about doing that. Have people call in, ask questions. That would be fun. I don't know if I'm great at advice, but I'm pretty good. Pretty good at advice about being divorcee. Which I've been divorced for about a year and a half. Separated almost four years, but... But the nice thing is now that we're uh, friends. Friends again. Finally. But it was, of course, a shit show for a while. And I have equal custody... I don't pay child support. She doesn't pay child support. I mean, that's how it should be. It should be that way. I also love cooking and critiquing. Maybe I should do that. I've been enjoying cooking lately. I baked some uh, hamburger. It was so delicious. When you switch off from having your kids and to being dad, then it's, you know, the focus is different. Those five days that I don't have my kids, sometimes it's, it's a little, it's different because I'm not sure where I'm at. So, like, as a person or as a man, well, so... I think that's where anxiety, uh, the uncertainty of, like, who, 
not who am I, I know who I am. But it's more so a lot of doubt, a lot of self-doubt, uninternalizing. Uh, but I want to get back to just being where I'm not so overly focused on what's happening around me in the community as to be focused on me and my family. Hey, I just wanted to... Oh, man. The sand's on my freaking hair now. I can feel it. It's like digging. It's like having ticks in there. Which is weird. I was in the attic and there was a freaking tick. Two ticks crawling on my leg. I'm like, ah, there's a tick, tick. Look, just to kind of finish up what I was saying. You know, the struggles that we feel every day, we can handle. We don't need medicine. And I'm a big proponent of that. I am never taking I have never taken, and it's not going to work for everyone, I understand that, but you have to be mentally tough and strong to dismiss those feelings that says you're wrong, or you're bad, you're not good enough. Those are all internalized inside our head. We have to train our mind. We have to train it, tell it, control it, own it. I'm not saying you can't feel bad. I mean, it's all emotion. It's all what we're supposed to... That's how we're wired. We need to own it. We need to quickly move on. We need to stay in the now, get out of the fucking past. That's my problem. I'm too focused on the past. That's because of... Because of my divorce. Because of losing my son. I've been really working hard to listen to people that are talking to me. Not trying to think about what I want to say. I really want to listen to people, understand, be compassionate, not figuring out what do I want to say next, how do I want to add to this story, my life is such a gift, I, I am tired of being in pain, and this is kind of my way of getting, getting this out, I have to get it out, because, um, I overthink, ruminate, too much. The overthinking it has crushed me this year. It's not allowing me to focus on my relationship with my kids, my relationship with my parents, my siblings. You know, it's not about me. It's a, I don't want it to be about me. I want to be a good brother to my siblings, a good son to my parents, a good father to my children. Is really talk and stay in the moment. Really listen. So many things going around. <sighs> Confident in your abilities. You always have this mantra, which is like, I listen to Grant Cardone sometimes, and he said, sometimes I wake up and say, <laughs> say this, even though it doesn't help me all the time but sometimes it says he wakes up and he says who's got my money today he says that I think that's really good who's got my money today you know I, I was kind of telling her about what was happening with me early in this year and she goes well, she goes, well I don't think you ever grieve properly and I always thought that was a strange thing to say it's like how does one grieve properly maybe she didn't say it exactly like that but grieving properly But in a sense, I think she was correct in that try too quickly to move on, or not move on, or just own the emotion in the moment, which is absolutely, you know, freaking terrible. Who's going to know this? I mean... For example, like on Saturday, I didn't have any plans, and I um, did some work for a guy that I, you know, we 
record an interview. But, you know, I worked, like, I don't know how many days straight, 12, 13, and then I'm mad at myself because I took a day off. And I didn't even take it. Day off. I worked for three hours on Saturday. I mean, just ridiculous. You gotta give yourself a break. I don't have any more to say. I'm, I'm done. I'm getting a little tired. Gonna get my shower. Subscribe to my channel. Tell All Productions. This is Trent Lewis signing off.